Rolling into the era of a Canadian car company, this zero emissions EV prototype is called Project Aero, and 97% of the materials used to build it come from Canada. At a time when everybody was looking to make major investments in EVs, we wanted to make a statement that Canada can do the whole thing for you. The vehicle was first revealed at the 2023 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, a joint venture between the Auto Parts Manufacturers Association along with Ontario Tech University, with engineering students helping assemble the vehicle. We have everything it takes, so this is physical proof that we can do it. So we're trying to gain the exposure and show people that this is the proof, this is the drivable business card. The car has been around the world driving business to Canada. According to the APMA, the $20 million price tag to develop Project Aero has resulted in $500 million in investment in Canada's auto industry. Now they're moving to Project Aero 2.0, creating a fleet of electric vehicles. We're in a moment now where we're talking about building a, a resilient Canadian economy while it's under attack by the guy in the White House. And the Prime Minister's challenged everybody to be ambitious. Well, there's nothing more ambitious than launching a Canadian car company. Federal Economic Development Minister for Southern Ontario, Evan Solomon, got a chance to see the car for himself. This is about showcasing the capabilities of an industry that is uh, a world-leading, world-leading industry, contributes to our economy, contributes to the entire value chain of the automotive manufacturing. For Project Aero 2.0, they'll build two vehicles a year for the next three years with the hope of showing investors and government that Canada can have its own car company. In Canada, I think that what we want to say uh, thoughtfully and responsibly is let's bring the best minds in Canada together to see if this is something we should and could do. As for when this vehicle could actually be in production, Flavio Volpe says if the right people are in place, it'll take about five years. Sean Lee Thong, CTV News.